Hey guys! So, in this video, I'm going to be telling you all about the books that I read in 2012. So, 2012 for me wasn't a very good year in terms of reading, mainly to the fact that I was always busy. I was working a lot, I was doing a lot of shows in my little Amdram group, and I just really didn't find enough time as much as I wanted to to read. I only managed to read a flimsy small amount, which is very disappointing compared to what most people have read. But no matter, because it is 2013 and I plan to read a whole lot more than last year. I've got myself doing challenges, I've got about a 50 book challenge that I've set for myself for this year on Goodreads, and like various other challenges and like group discussions on Goodreads as well, so I'm going to make myself read a lot more because I need to, it's like healthy and it's part of my life and I need it to survive. Plus, I've got a lot of books and ebooks and that, that I need to read and review for publishers and authors and stuff, so that is one way of pushing me towards reading. Ah, just pushing. Push it real good. So I've seen people do videos of their favourite 12 books of 2012. But unfortunately I've only read like a flimsy amount. So I'm going to have to do something a little bit different. These are the books that I read in 2012. <laughs> These books I read earlier in the year. First up we have. When Lightning Strikes by Meg Cabot. Well, the next one is actually a series. This represents the Dark Heart Forever series by Lee Monroe. The next one we have is The Woman in Black by Susan Hill. Now, really, this book I've actually read twice because the first time was before the movie came out. I sort of read it because my brother went to see the um, production of it in London when he was in school and it's meant to be scary so I read the book and the book is eerie enough but it's uh, like a really really good sort of scary book so yeah and then when the new movie came out with Daniel Radcliffe I read the book again and just sort of all the good stuff came up like all the good like came up of why I liked it and it just reminded me why I liked it which was good. Falling Fast by Sophie Mackenzie is a really really good sort of romance. Next of all I read The Gathering which is the first book in the Darkness Rising series and it is by Kelly Armstrong. The next book is Anthony Horowitz's Note of Horace and I believe it is the fourth book in the Power of Five series and this book I loved it and the series is just amazing if you haven't read it go do it. Uh, next we have Torment by Lauren Kate which is the next book after Fallen in the Fallen series. <laughs> the next book is actually a read and it is marked by PC and Kristen Carr. It is the first book in the House of Night series and actually uh, this book was bought to me by an ex. So it's like the best present an ex has ever got me. <laughs> These are the books that I have read in December. I read quite a few in this month. So first of all I've read Loving Danny by Hilary Freeman. This is a very nice romantic story between a girl and a guy from a band. Okay, so the next one is Fallen Angel by Heather Terrell and it is the first book in the Fallen Angel series by Heather Terrell. And it's quite a good paranormal story. It's sort of got Nephilim angels all that mingled in there. So next of all, I read The Blood Keeper by Tessa Grellin. It is the second book which is from like the Blood Magic series. The first book was Blood Magic and this one is the second one. So yeah, it's very interesting, different story about witchcraft 
the blood involved. The next one is actually more of a uh, an adult read because it is Fifty Shades of Grey, and like I read this because there was such a hype going around about it. Like everyone was reading it, everyone at my work was reading it, people in my family, and I was like, "What the f is this book about?" I need to read it to see what people are raving about. Well, the next book I got from NetGalley and that is Geek Girl by Holly Smale and I loved this book. I gave it 5 stars because it is hilarious and amusing and I love the characters in it and everything was super super cool. This book was another book that I got from NetGalley and it is A Shimmer of Angels by Lisa M. Bustle. And this is a really, really good book. I liked it anyway. Uh, and it's got like angels in it. And I love books about angels. I love angels. <laughs> the next book that I read was actually my own. And it is Wake by Amanda Hocking. It's the first book in the Waterstorm series. And uh, I really like this story. I, I like the story about sirens and mermaids, and I like how they kept to the sort of mythological term of sirens, so I really enjoyed it, and I can't wait to read the next book to see what happens. And finally, the last book that I read of the year is Who is Audrey Wickersham by Sarah Shreve. This book I got from an old book on Goodreads from a discussion thread that I requested and got sent to me, and I quite liked this one. I'm not sure if I would read it again, but like I really, really enjoyed it. it if you like books about zombies and uh, vampires and like witchcraft, that is all mingled in this book, and I don't recommend it to you. And that is the end of my 2012 book wrap up of all the books that I've read this year. So yeah, there was very few, but you know. I could only fit in what I could fit in and I made up for it in December because I read like nine books in December but you know I will make up for it this year definitely a lot more because I'm going to just motivate myself and make myself read a lot more. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a super awesome new year and read so so many books because Take care, guys. See you later. La 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 la.